Hello, my name is Pat Fisher, and I am the founder of Braille Art. Braille Art is the art you touch. Unlike most art, you do not touch. Braille Art, you do. How this began was last year, Christmas 2008, I painted this picture. I was awoken in the middle of the night with these awesome words, and I'll read it. Life is like climbing a hill that goes on forever. Every plateau you reach is yet another step. It is belief in our Father God, His Son Jesus, and the Holy Spirit that keeps us climbing. God is omniscient, as the Lord knows all things and is always with us. If you conceive it, believe it, you will receive it. Life is like climbing a hill, and the Lord is always with you. Yeah, I was like awoken two weeks before Christmas, had that, those beautiful words, exactly like that. I wrote them down. I wanted to do something special with them, so I went out and I bought an 18 by 24 inch blank canvas, and I painted my first picture. The picture is a, a scroll that's on a plateau with hills behind it. I made copies of this and I gave it as Christmas presents to people that I love. It was when a friend of mine said that his wife loved it, I thought, wow, she's blind. How would she ever read those words if she was inspired? And so I brailled it. And I knew right then, braille art was born. But how I got the idea really goes back to the year 2000. I had a company called Braille Cards, and we have, we have the website, BraillCards.com. We make Braille greeting cards. But my partner at the time, Bob Varney, young man who was blind, he convinced me how important it was for someone blind to be able to read Braille. Because that was like his way of reading and writing and learning. He told me that when he gets a greeting card, it always is hard because he has to wait till a reader is there to read it. But he goes, you know, I'm like everybody else. I wake up in the middle of the night. I'm inspired. I want to read it. I have to wait till my reader shows up. And when the card is real emotional, well, the reader doesn't have the emotion all the time when they read. And so we created Braille Cards. Braille Cards was not real successful, it lost money, but that's beside the point. Bob Varney, a friend of mine, you know, um, he passed away a few years after we started this and you know I just in honor of him never really did anything with it. But this year in January I started Braille Art and now I'm bringing back Braille Cards and you can go to BrailleArt.com, BrailleCards.com and check it out. But anyways, I just, I want to say this one thing. <clears throat> this year, 2009, is the year of Braille. Louis Braille's birthday, January 4th, he turned 200 years old. He would have been 200 years old this year. In celebration and honor of him, the U.S. Mint came out with the commemorative coin. It's a silver dollar with Braille on it. Never been done before. It's awesome. The National Federation of the Blind promotes this. Um, it's just beautiful. Braille is beautiful. Braille is to someone blind what text is to someone sighted. Every child who's blind or visually impaired needs to learn to read and write Braille. It's so important. So this is the year of Braille, and I'm very excited to... Um, Roll into 2010 with Braille cards and Braille art operational. We're opening Braille shop sometime next year, like January 1. There it's going to contain a lot of tactile products. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this and please view some of our pictures that follow.